and welcome to another video as part of our psychology course. Today we're going to look at one of the most hotly contested debates in the field of psychology. Drum roll please. The nature versus nurture debate. So what do you think has the most influence over who you are? Your genes or your environment? What is it that influences our behaviour? Is it nature? By nature, I mean your biology. For example, your genes, the structure of your brain and neurotransmission, the chemistry in your brain. Maybe you inherited your mother's hair colour. But what behavioural traits did you inherit from your parents? Or is nurture more important? By nurture, I mean your environment. For example, the way your family raised you, the kind of neighbourhood you grew up in, the school you went to, your cultural background, the kind of media you have consumed, your life events so far, the list goes on. Psychologists want to find out what influences us. Is it the genes we inherit or the environment and life experiences? Most likely, it's a complicated interaction between our nature and our nurture. In GCSE Paper 1, you need to know how nature and nurture influence psychological problems. Are depression and addiction a result of our nature or our nurture? Is it a complex interaction of both? When it comes to depression, the nature versus nurture debate explores whether it's primarily caused by genetic factors or environmental influences. Some researchers suggest that there may be a genetic predisposition to depression, meaning that certain individuals may be more vulnerable to developing it due to their genes. This theory is supported by Caspi's research. But here's the thing. Our environment and life experiences can also play a significant role in the development of depression. Things like stressful events can contribute to the onset of depression. So while genetics may make someone more susceptible, it's often the combination of genes and life experiences that determine whether depression occurs. But what about addiction? Can an addict blame their addiction on their parents? Similar to depression, addiction is influenced by both nature and nurture. There is evidence that certain individuals may have a genetic predisposition to addiction, meaning they may be more likely to develop addictive behaviours due to their genes. These genetic factors can influence how our brains respond to certain substances or activities, making some people more susceptible. So, in theory, an addict could blame their addiction on their genes they inherited from their biological parents. But, just like with depression, environmental factors also come into play. The availability and exposure to addictive substances or behaviours, peer pressure, stress and life circumstances can contribute to the development of addiction. So it's a combination of genetic vulnerability and environmental influences that increase the risk of addiction. It's important to note that not everyone with a genetic predisposition will develop depression or addiction. Our environment, the choices we make, play a significant role in determining whether these conditions manifest. So while genetics may set the stage, our lifestyle, support systems, coping mechanisms and personal choices can greatly impact our mental well-being and the likelihood of developing these conditions. In paper one, you could be given a one or two mark question that asks you to define either nature or nurture. You could also get a nine mark question that asks you to go into this debate in more detail. And this debate will crop up again in paper two when we look at criminal behaviour. Can criminals blame their behaviour on their parents? Well, they can, but should they? I hope this has been useful. I'm Kate with MBA. Thanks for watching.